Yo, alright, I got this loop. I want to play it on a MIDI controller. <laughs> The fastest way for me to do that is to press slice to new MIDI track. Uh, I mean, it's got my options in there, but the factory settings, there's not a lot to choose from. What I'm going to show you guys is how to make your own. What you need to do is open up an empty MIDI track put a simpler in there, right click, put, uh, choose group to new drum rack, uh, open up the macros, because that's what we're going to be using, you kind of like set the global settings that you want to choose for your macros, uh, and that'll be for every chop of the sample, so I'm just going to do the utility stuff like volume, envelope, uh, transpose, filter, resonance, that sort of stuff. Then you need to open up um, map mode, set that to zero, set the volume. Um, pitching is okay, it's not great though, because it doesn't have the warp, so if you want to do any like really big pitching, then you need to take it out of the sampler. Um, that's all good. Then you need to set these to uh, how you want them to be for like every single sample um, because they're going to end up being global so minus four um, filter all the way up set the transpose to neutral we're pretty much just going to be doing default settings right here um, just take a little bit of the attack off because it never really cuts at uh, zero crossing um, that looks all good, so you just uh, name it, then you go over to your user library, defaults, slicing, and drag it in. Press enter, saved, and then we'll go over to our sample, don't need that anymore. Go over to our sample, right click, go slice to new MIDI. And there's the new one we just made. So that's like a utility thing. And it will give us um, a slice on every quarter note. So we'll end up with 16 slices. Let's see what it does. Cool. Now we have a little MIDI file of... <laughs> you end up having a lot more control over it very, very quickly. I um, hope that was helpful.